Well, one day before former Governor Cuomo is set to testify on Capitol Hill about his handling of coronavirus in nursing homes, a House committee has released a bombshell report. It accuses Cuomo of making false statements to cover up the number of deaths. Lisa Rosner has the details. As 15,000 seniors died from COVID in New York nursing homes in 2020, there was mounting criticism of a March 25, 2020 directive issued by then Governor Cuomo's administration, which ordered in part no resident shall be denied readmission or admission to the nursing home solely based on a confirmed or suspected diagnosis of COVID-19. Families like NYPD Detective Haiti Pavey got the call that her otherwise 72-year-old healthy mother was on her deathbed with COVID. He has to be told, you were wrong and you need to pay for what you did. Cuomo privately testified before Congress back in June, and now the subcommittee on the coronavirus pandemic cites in a 48-page report that Cuomo told a reporter March 10th, 2020, that coronavirus in nursing homes was a nightmare scenario and told the Trump administration this could be like fire through dry grass. Yet, Congress finds he still issued the deadly directive statewide. Authors claim the former governor and his staff used alternating methodologies throughout the pandemic to account for nursing home fatalities. It cites testimony from ex-Cuomo policy advisor Jim Malatras, who said Cuomo and Secretary Melissa DeRosa would edit reports. A Cuomo spokesperson said in part, what the report does confirm is that out-of-facility nursing home tabulations were initially withheld due to legitimate concerns over accuracy. The report also for the first time admits that it was the federal government, not state governments, that first decided COVID-positive people can and should be sent from hospitals to nursing homes. The rep adds that this report is designed to distract from what he calls Trump's failed pandemic leadership. Cuomo's testimony tomorrow will be public. And meantime, lawmakers on that committee claim that the state is withholding documents vital to their investigation that would help them shape legislation to prevent future tragedies from ever happening again. Christina Maurice. All right, Lisa Rosner, thank you.